More music. Well, we've certainly played more music on Caroline over the years, but we've had more disc jockeys, I'll tell you. There's been something like over 200 disc jockeys have worked for Radio Caroline. A lot of them, it has given them a big break. I know myself, speaking personally, I've never regretted joining Caroline because I just wouldn't have been known in so many millions of homes as I am now. And people like Simon D, Tony Blackburn, uh, and Johnny Walker all owe their success to Radio Caroline. <laughs> And this is Roger Day, just giving you a rundown now on Radio Caroline. A lot of people come up to me and they say, uh, what did you used to do on the boat? So I figured it'd be quite interesting to give you a rundown of the daily routine. Myself, I get up at 5.30 in the morning to do my breakfast show. Then at 9 o'clock, go and have breakfast, usually. Then go back to bed. After 5.30 at getting up, you go back to bed at 9, I tell you. <laughs> then through to 12, when we used to have lunch, um, we used to have rather a superb meals, actually. They were cooked by a Dutch gentleman, and the Dutch are very good cooks, and we used to be very well fed out there. Then in the afternoon it's all down to answering mail and maybe doing another show, fitting, sitting in for somebody who is off on leave. And then in the evening it's all down to watching television, answering more mail and going back to bed. And um, believe me, it's good fun out there and you don't have much time to relax and think of yourself and get bored. Believe me. Of course, man. <laughs> That's one of my catchphrases, and it's caught on like mad. Used to get lots of letters quoting it. Uh, and it's amazing over the years just how these catchphrases have caught on via Caroline. There's another one of mine, uh, How Embarrassing. And of course, the Simon D's can't be bad, which about every disc jockey in the business will use. So it proves that Caroline, once it keeps pumping something into your brain all day, it'll come out in everyday speech. <laughs> You might wonder how we did a go-go, and I shall tell you. It used to be a rough old fishing boat trip, uh, as I call, from Holland. It used to take at least 16 hours. And boy, that was the worst part of being out there. Uh, this used to supply us with oil, water for washing. We did used to wash occasionally. <laughs> if we had the water out there, and uh, supplies. And this used to come about twice a week and also bring us relief disc jockeys and take us on leave to Holland. <laughs> Now comes to the future, and I think that eventually commercial radio will be brought into this country, and when it does, I can tell you, it'll be much better than it was when it was three and a half miles out at sea, because, uh, for instance, a disc jockey on going to work can say, oh, I saw the milkman this morning, had a nice chat with him. Morning, Mr. Jones, do you have a milk round all right this morning? And uh, it all brings all public interest into, like, a normal music show, and I think people will dig this like crazy. If you've never been to the States and you've never heard States Radio, well, this is what they do all the time over there, and I've studied States Radio a lot, and it is very good. It needs to be toned down a lot, but when he comes here, commercial radio in Britain is going to be the best in the world. I always listening to Roger Day in the morning. I put something in the oven for ten minutes and relax to the sounds of the Roger Day show. <laughs> Just one of the average listeners to the Roger Day show in the morning, I tell you. We had some strange people used to listen in then. Anyway, I think it's about time that Roger Day, your thinner record spinner, commonly known as Twiggy, had better sign off. And that's another thing, actually. A lot of people ask me, how I got the name Twiggy. Well, I was walking around in the swimming trunks in the summer and uh, one of the Dutch crew yelled out, ah, oh, Twiggy. And since then, the other jocks sort of handled onto it and kept calling me that. And since then, it's been Roger Twiggy Day. With no offence to the original Twiggy, because I think she's a lot thinner than I am. Really, I'm quite fat. But uh, in the swimming trunks, I look very thin. Roger Day signing off here. I hope you have enjoyed the programmes that you've heard from Caroline while I've been on there and indeed since Easter four years ago. And I certainly hope that very soon you will have commercial radio in all parts of England to listen to. So next time you do see the name day, be warned, beware. Most of all, you be there. Bye-bye now. Good morning, the world is bright and new. Tonight you're always right with... International. 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 International.